Byproducts from the sawmill industry are helping a company in Sanford crack the energy market in a big way. Wood and Sons are turning out 50 tons of wood pellets daily to heat homes in Maine and those across New England. The company is not even a year old and is already having a hard time keeping up with the demand for renewable energy. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee has more. Pleasant River Lumber Company used to pay to have their leftover wood chips and sawdust hauled away to paper mills located hours away. Then that market began to dry up. As those paper mills, you know, slow down and ramp up, that kind of had us struggling to try to find a place to put the chips. The sawmill found a home for the byproducts literally in its backyard. I'm having someone here on site, it's just, it's a no-brainer. Tony Wood was more than eager to take that sawmill residue off their hands. We're able to use every bit that's coming out of those harvests. Wood isn't kidding. Check out this pile. We had uh, a massive mountain of chips out here just to make sure we'd be able to keep up going right. into the wintertime. Wood and his father opened the $7 million plant last December. Wood and Sons manufacture eastern white pine wood pellets for the heating fuel market. The Wood family ran a sawmill and pallet operation for more than a century before it shut down in the early 2000s. Today, this plant is producing 50 tons of pellets every 12 hours, a process that involves loading the chips into this machine where they are ground into sawdust. Then it's dried to get the moisture content to 5%. So we dry them out, we grind them twice. That material is fed into a machine that presses out pellets. After the pellets cool, they are run through a silo, screened, and bagged. Now, Wood says his company's pellets stand out in the market because of consistency. They're exclusively sourced from white pine and no other hardwoods. He says this type of wood generates a lot of heat quickly with less ash. Customers are clamoring for the pellets, which the company says are 30% cheaper than oil and 50% less costly than propane. We've been sold out every month since we got started. A good problem to have as a forest product industry diversifies to keep up with the demand for sustainable energy. In Sanford, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.